here with our senior writer, Alessandra Ressa, who's also a speleologist. How did you become a speleologist? I don't know, I've always been interested in what's underground. So every time I saw a hole, a manhole, I always wanted to peek inside and see if there was any space to proceed. And I've always been very curious. And I think curiosity is the number one um, characteristic that you need to have. Um, and then uh, one thing led to another. I began with uh, uh, war-related uh, buildings, uh, underground tunnels, artificial stuff. And then I started exploring the natural uh, stuff, such as caves. And in Trieste, you know, there are over 6,000 caves in our carso, and they estimate that there's another 6,000 that haven't been explored yet. So I plan to discover at least one of them. Can't wait. We all love your articles on the caves and cave-in. So you said cave-in is different from speleology. How so? Uh, I would say it's different because cave-in means uh, going into caves more like a tourist or as, um, I don't know, some people do it for sports reasons. Um, but a speleologist is really somebody who explores. So either you find new places or you have the curiosity to seek for more. You guys make this huge discovery and you were part of it, right? How does it make you feel? Oh, that felt great because you cannot even begin to imagine how it was to spend two years uh, digging underground in really uncomfortable, in a really uncomfortable positions where you had to, you know, uh, lie down in the mud and it wasn't just mud. Um, and just dig, carry buckets. Buckets uh, were a constant thing, a daily constant thing. So heavy buckets in and out. Um, I, I dreamt of buckets every night, you know, just buckets. Uh, but anyway, so it's, it's great uh, that all of this is not finished, but at least it led to uh, this new discovery, this result. And it was great to be one of the first people to walk into the new tunnel, uh, which is really weird. I felt like I was actually entering a spaceship that had been colonized by alien life because of the weird things I saw inside uh, that are now under uh, analysis. Uh, so we have some scientists in our group that are going to tell us what exactly those weird, soft, colorful things hanging from the ceilings are. But anyway, it was amazing for many, many ways. Uh, we plan to go all the way through the landslide and get reach the end of the tunnel. Oh my God. Metaphorically speaking. <laughs> and get to the, the part where there should be uh, limestone and therefore the real Carso rock. We'll see really passionate about it obviously but is there anything scary like aren't you scared to go down or is there something that might stop you from discovering uh, I still have some fear of heights believe it or not uh, that hasn't healed but I feel very safe with the equipment so uh, so I have to trust my equipment and my capacity to use it uh, but it is kind of scary it, and I think it's healthy to be scared if you're not, that means there's something wrong with you and maybe you're willing to take risks that you shouldn't take. If anyone wants to join you guys, how can they do that? Well, definitely uh, for the Teresiano, uh, for the digging of the Teresiano, unfortunately it's too late. No, I'm joking. Uh, there's so much to do still. So you just need to contact the, the society, uh, um, Società Adriatica di Speleologia, and see if you can join the, the working groups. Uh, but for caving uh, or to become a speleologist, you need to take a course and you need to practice a lot and you need to have a lot of free time. And that's probably the hard, 